Hey, orange one here. So we're in the swamps. Uh, I ended up running Silas up here, and we got a couple people. They're a little bit closer to uh, Narco's trap, but they're like in Shem currently. I think we might set up our little Deadlands camp, or at least look at some locations. Or we might just go to Narco's trap. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll kind of see how things pan out up there. But anyway, Silas is here. I'm trying to find the people to calm things down with the um, the tech hunters. Unfortunately, that is not happening. It looks like there's actually some dude who's getting mad about some hive or something like that. I'm, I'm very confused. But anyways, we're in the swamp. There's like skeletons. Completely unskilled. There's a holy... Actually, oh, there's a holy pacifier. There actually could be some pacifiers that come through here. That is good to know. And we are able to be here safely. And we found this guy right here. You may have noticed that this dude will probably join us. Safety pay. Why not join me for free? Okay. Masaru, I'm going to let you keep your name, seeing how you're the only um, named Hiver that we've found in, in this whole series. Um, not this whole series, but I think you're our first, like, in-game in, in -game, uh, successful um, recruitment. Oh, so we're in a casino. That's the thing. They're saying that they got all the money. Oh, interesting. So yeah, this this town we're in Shark right now. I actually have not really checked out and spent time in Shark, so I didn't really know that that that's what I was walking into. It was just like a little den of a casino. What do you sell in this casino? I'm curious. Cat crawlers. How do I play? Sure, why not? Um, Hungry Gutter. Uh, we are going to fish. <laughs> so, that to me does not seem like a real game. Seems to me like they're just like saying things, but that's interesting. I always like when games have like games inside of them. That's why I'm actually super excited for the new Bannerlord game. I'm hoping to do like this um, series where basically uh, we are like a avid board game player like a rich kid who just plays board games and um, yeah this doesn't look like this is a bar it looks like this is like a HQ for like the the hounds which is like a gang that owns the city um, so there was that bar that was the casino right here. Um, there is another bar actually in this town. And I actually went already went into it, so I hope I can show you the unique dialogue. I actually noticed this before I even walked in. Look at that. He's got a skeleton, like, impaled. The little cane and a hat. And I've seen the hat, like, that's an actual item that you can wear in-game, but, like, the cane... I don't think I've seen anyone actually with a cane weapon, which makes you wonder, what is that? It must be, like, another, um, cane or something. So, yeah, this does look like a place that is going to have some pacifiers. Um, we already traded with this person and the other people around here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Black shifters. Okay. Interesting. So, the hounds are the top dogs. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just, like, let you guys read the other ones myself. I'm not that interested in them. So I'm just gonna click on it, and if you're interested, there you go. All the info on the tribes. Um, so here's here's the deal. Right now, I really liked a comment that someone suggested that we get some hydroponic rice. 
I don't think that we have enough to start our own hydroponic rice um, thing. So why don't we go to the villages that are kind of around here and try and buy some stuff up. It looks like you guys are also at the smuggler's bar, which I think... I think is it's owned by the Grey Flares, which I think were they don't have any problems with us, I'm pretty sure. If we can buy like materials from the smuggler's bar, like building materials, then we might be able to uh get really nicely set up at the edge of the Black Desert City and have like a little pit stop there. Oh look, there's a some Hyper has a crossbow and like not really a shirt. He's just got like that armor pad, shoulder pad thing. Yeah, we're starting to get into like UC looking stuff. Smuggler barman. There's some uh, mercenary guild people in here, which is making me a little nervous because they don't, they do not like me at all, not one bit. Uh, no one that we could recruit. Okay, maybe we should not be inside of here. Igor, I'm gonna have uh. You go talk to the barman really quick. Oh yeah, they just have drinks and like food. Tell you what, let's just get some food. I don't know who's gonna have the fish. Looks like Igor had the fish. I guess Igor really likes fish. Like everyone else gets a little bit of meat, but I get the fish. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe somewhere along this edge, we might be able to find something that's habitable. There's Skinner's Rome, Grey Desert. I think probably we want to have Shem soil, either that or Skinner's Rome. We'll we'll check out the fertility that's in the different biomes in that area. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to build from materials from here, but we should be able to get some materials from Black Desert City and then just run it down if we really wanted to. I just want to kind of scout out while we're while we're here. We'll see if we really do build things or if we just run for Narco's Trap. I think I do want to get set up though and maybe get more, um, some more cybernetic, nice cybernetic limbs. Like just buy them out here pretty much every day and have like a little, I don't know, drug factory or groggery or something that we can sell to the robots. I don't know why they would actually buy it if they like mix the alcohol with jet fuel and it actually it's like you know it's like the opposite of how humans do that it's actually the alcohol that's bad for them <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i like i like that in my head though i like that story okay we have giant crazy structure here can we just do a little prospecting guys hold up just just hold up for a second A uh, little bit of water, no fertility, but we just need water to be honest. And there's a little bit of iron. I do want to have, um, I think some iron production. Why don't we just go along here just a little while? Here, everyone's gonna take a different path. Fine, whatever. I really don't care. It looks like there is a small iron resource right there. Okay. What's that? Iron resource. Iron resource. There's a number of iron resources right there. Any, like, nodules that we are seeing around here? Not really. I'm gonna go ahead and do another prospect right here with Igor. Okay, we have... A little bit of fertility. It's actually shocking. We've got really good stone, which is good because we'll be able to build here. Um, we even have some copper there. We have a copper node and an iron node. This is like the perfect spot. You know? Like, honestly. What a score. There's a copper node right there. We got our little house like right here by that copper node. And we got some hydroponics up and running. Oh, dude. This is awesome. Okay, um... Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have, like, a dozen little outposts. Uh... Do we have Benedict? Benedict, you're gonna be the speedy boy. So why don't we send you... 
uh, Black Desert City to go get those materials and everyone else can just kind of hang out here. It's fine. We should be fine here. I don't think we're going to have any crazy reckless weather. I'm just going to guard my copper nodes. Yeah, that's pretty good though. I mean, honestly, if we can get a nice like little money making business right there, we're going to be set. Okay, uh, you might have rice. There's actually, oh, you've all glitched out a little bit. There's multiple raiders, the same stuff. Do you have different inventories or the same one? You got the same inventory. Oh, how cute. You guys, like, share an inventory. It's like a mom and pop drugstore. But, like, not like Walgreens. <laughs> right? Okay. These guys might have some goods in here that I'm interested in buying. These guys are the same. Little mom and pop shop. Okay, I think that's probably enough rice wheat to at least get us uh, started. Right? Uh, there is a swamp dome that we could buy in here. Or a little house, if I wanted a little house. I mean, it's tempting. If we were going to do that, we would do that in Shark. I think, because then we would have... That's actually not a half bad idea. I think I might end up doing that. But for now, Silas, you are going to bring that rice weed back to Fort Monroe. Because I think we are going to want to do that hydroponics. I think that I have heard that that's a really nice um, combo for that. Uh, Blake, you want to try recruiting anyone to your little empire, your little robotics desert empire? What about this dude? They want to join your cause? Nope. How disrespectful. Okay, uh, we do actually have some green, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, cooked vegetables from the green, um, blah, my brain. From the green fruit. <laughs> I can't think of the fake, like, sci-fi vegetable that we're looking at here. Come on, can you show me the inside of this building or not? I want to show people this. Are you, like, loading it? Yeah, okay, you're loading it. So, I ended up getting... Uh, this house built and I'm gonna try and up our game in terms of food production. What are you guys fighting? Geek things? Oh, um, George? Yeah, that area of attack, attack, you don't want to get hit by. This one dead? Dying? Yeah, same with you guys. Why don't you just hang back a little bit, let Igor, uh, do his thing. Jack, you are about to get, uh, jacked up. Oh, nope, never mind. Okay, Igor. Why don't you just get that meat? And sure, why don't you get the foul meat? We'll just secure our food with this group for the next, uh, I don't know, week. I mean, honestly, given that we got that much foul meat, we should be fine. Oh, you lost the left leg, so we're going to need to... Uh, looks. I thought I saw it rolling on the ground there, but nope, it's over up here. So we're gonna need to get him a new leg. That's one of the first things we're gonna need to do at, at the Black Desert City. Um, you're probably just getting chased by like blood spiders, though, right, Silas? You know, I've gotten like, uh, like I feel a little reinvigorated with Kenshi. I am enjoying the idea of doing some different stuff as well on the channel. Uh. It's kind of weird right now, because right now when I'm recording this, I have said that I was going to do like a number of different one episode things of different shows, but I haven't actually recorded them yet. This is probably going to come out after they've been up on the channel for a while, but I haven't actually recorded them. And I'm, I'm excited about playing some other games. Like, I'm really excited about playing Bannerlord. But I'm at the same time, like... I'm trying to figure out how to split my time, you know? And I think I need to do more tips and tutorial videos. 
I'm probably going to try and do that with Bannerlord when it comes out. Um, as much as possible. Got to try and do like a roleplay gameplay thing. Maybe some tutorials. And I think I'll keep Kenshi going for a little while. And then if I don't get to play other games that I want to play. Like for example um, Cataclysm. I might pause Kenshi for a little bit and do some Cataclysm. Or if I run out of ideas for the Bannerlord tutorials, I might do some Cataclysm then. I don't know. I just really enjoy Cataclysm, and I really enjoy Kenshi, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to really enjoy Bannerlord. But I've also been looking at this game called Phoenix Point. I've been watching um, Enter Elysium play that, and I've been enjoying that quite a bit. Is that, like, people there? No. I saw people on that beach. And yeah, I'm pretty tempted to pick that one up too. So uh, maybe I take a break from Cataclysm and check out that other game. Oh gosh, here comes the volume. Okay, Silas, you're, you're gonna have to run through here on your own. I'm not doing that. I'm not playing that game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, uh, who was it that was running? It was Benedict. Yeah, you were gonna go get some... Well, we're going to need a decent amount of building materials. At least enough for a little house and, like, a mine. If not more. Because really what we need is, like, enough for, like, one of those storm houses. But if I could just get, like, a little hut, then we could get hydroponics started in there. And we could get, um... My brain is not working today. We could get the hydroponics in the building, and then we could get um, mining a little bit and uh, trying to get some building materials made so that we could then have our little outpost for trading with these guys. Because this is honestly one of the best places to trade in the whole game. I think a big reason my other series did so well is because I was regularly trading with this, this store. We just have the best things in the game. They've got tons of it. They've got like an ancient science book just like there. Why not, right? A uh, fog mask? Oh, sweet. We can make our own gas masks. I will definitely take that. Um, I'm not seeing any building materials, though. Which is going to make life hard for us. I am seeing an iron plate. I don't think that I need that though. What I need for mining is I need a stone mine. Which is seven building materials. Stone processor. If we do the manual I think it's six iron plates and seven building materials. So, or no, that was that was the big one. Uh, blah, blah. Not the big one. Just the regular one. The three building materials. I, I need some iron plates and three building materials. And we could get the building... We could get the iron plates pretty easily. Just by hunting iron spiders or, or something like that. Why don't we just buy one from him? Because he has it. And we're here. And I kind of want to just... Tell you that. You don't care. It's stolen. We understand each other. Okay, um, and we're gonna hold on to those weapons. We're gonna learn that recipe. Why don't we go back into the city? I don't think the cybernetics person is gonna have building materials, but I am curious to see what cybernetics he has. Because we do need a left leg for what's his face. One of our hivers. Oh, there's also the bar that's around here somewhere. That's the armory. Yeah, there's like a... large storage. Robotics. Is it this one, then? Yeah, there's the bar over there, so we should go check that out as well. See what we can get. Um, we wanted a left leg masterwork that is... Perfect. I will take that. I will gladly take that. Um, and now we only have 8,000, so... 
yeah, we're gonna have to get our building materials. I don't know. Probably from the swamp. That's probably what we're gonna need to do to get our little forward base set up. We'll probably actually just run Benedict down to the swamp. Maybe down to like these settled nomads, see if they've got a store there in Shem. I think we'll do that. Yeah. Is that it? No. I thought it was one that we could loot. Um, but, but we got Silas. I don't know what Silas is doing right now. Oh, he's still going through that really loud biome. But he's pretty much through it. I'm just gonna power through it, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's gonna take too long to load. Okay, there we go. He's through. Thank goodness. That was annoying. Okay. And we'll be able to get that rice weed uh, thing researched soon enough. I'm curious if maybe it's an appropriate time to try recruiting someone again. I think it is. Yeah, it's been long enough. Yeah, I've got a backlog of prisoners that I want to recruit. Like, there's quite a few of them here. There's actually quite a few at the Ant Hill as well, but they're fogmen, so the chances of actually recruiting them are very uh, slim. So you're going to be Southern Hydro Farmer, I think, four. So I think we've got a number of other ones. Um, you need a right leg, which I think we have a couple of them of varying quality. Oh, this is a really nice one. But you gotta get there. You gotta get there, my friend. Okay. The finest, uh, leg when you join our hive. Bring all the human females to the yard. <laughs> I think that's what Beep would say, right? Um, the, that's better than what we got on. I mean, it's still pretty trash, but it's better than nothing. Uh, and same with that. I would, uh, we'll give you, we'll give you the ring saber. Definitely better than nothing, but I don't know how much better. And then, how are these hydroponics things going? I think that... Yeah, there's no green fruit that's just sitting around. Dust bandits now don't like us. I think we just uh, killed a whole pack of them. Just Oh no, is that one got a crossbow? If one of them has a crossbow, this could be really bad for us. It looks like we defended against them. That could be annoying. We get raided by dust bandits. Okay, these guys got killed so bad that they're like stuck in a weird animation. We definitely want that little hut. We definitely need a little hut. Nung, losing limbs over there. Took off my leg. Dude, if you managed to not die from that. I'll be impressed, yeah. The black blood loss is just too much. That <laughs> Kenshi is such a brutal game. I'm like watching some dude just like bleed out from his leg in like the middle of a desert. <laughs> like I just had one of those moments where I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> just obliterated some dudes. They, ha they must have food attack. Um, Benedict does have a penalty on him, but I bet he could take that group out pretty easily. Don't really want to try it out, though. Uh, actually, is that leg better than your current left leg? It is. Wow. Well, well, well. Hey, look at that. Benedict, now, his attack is even better. Did that... Wait, what? 
change your athletics or something which changes that? I'm I'm kind of confused. Like boosting my athletics. So does that mean my attack then went up? Cause like the penalty is not as bad, or was it the biome? Or it was probably the wet, like a weather effect. Yeah, that must have been what it was. We're like in a dust storm. Now we're not. I feel like these guys with their eyes, dust storms should affect them less. Maybe. It, maybe it does, but. Probably doesn't. Well, he's almost at the settled nomad village, so we'll see if we'll be able to get those supplies there soon enough. Um, I'm I'm actually just excited to have our farms getting bigger in the south. Like, I think if we can get that food production to be excessive of what we need, then I can specialize more into the electronics and grow that up as well. I just kind of am tired of micromanaging the food and having to send people on hunts. And it's kind of interesting, but it's also not. And that was surprisingly fast, you swimming there, Benedict. Uh, this looks like the settled nomads, right? You're a nomad. You have a store at all? Animal shop. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to have items for sale here. It's just going to be animals. Hello there, pack beasts and bone dogs. Oh. Got a bad feeling about these ones. Okay. They don't like me. I think I've attacked their caravans before. They go to rot then. I. They got a bad feeling about me. Which are like pirates. What if Kenshi 2 takes place up there, or there, and then that's Kenshi 3? Or if that's Kenshi 2 and then that's Kenshi 3? Right? What if, like, Kenshi 1, 2, and 3 are different, uh, like, an indicating something about the size of them? Right? Could be. Definitely could be. Hmm. Well, I think we're kind of in a nice place right now. Got a lot of good things set up. So, I think I'm going to end this one here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.